and then delta t so delta t is basically your time step so that is that is the number of steps that you take from starting to end so can anyone tell me what is the total number of time steps for which i'm solving the entire simulation if my start time is 0 my end time is 0.5 and my delta t is 0.005 how many time steps do i have that is not how many time steps not 1000 exactly right you have 100 time steps okay so if you have 100 time steps of data and your write interval is 20 which means for every 20 time steps you are actually writing a data so that is why you have six files you have a file at 0 you have uh, you have a file at 20 time steps 40 60 80 and 100 okay so that is why in para para form we saw six time steps of data but actually the simulation is running for 100 time steps so is this point clear on a scale of 1 to 10 please rate your understanding of this concept cool great so you have a bunch of other outputs here uh, other inputs here which you can worry for example write format you can have it as ascii or binary it's not uh, something that you have to change uh, for ca for delta t you can use an automatic time step control if required that would you can do a uh, time step control based upon uh, the maximum cfl number if that is something that you want all right so this is basically setting up the entire simulation what is the how are we where are we defining the geometry right in fact i said that in the pre processing step you can load the models from cad where are we doing this in this case we are not creating a cad model or we are not importing a cad model we are creating the geometry ourselves that is inside the system folder and it is inside a file called block mesh dict you can see that this is a human readable file which is an ascii file and you can see that there are something called as vertices blocks edges boundaries and all that stuff what does all of this mean well let's take some time to understand this because if you are understanding this today you can actually do something meaningful open with open form right away so here i'm going to be using one note and i'm going to be uh, say maybe we can do it maybe we can do it side by side like this i think because we are starting from 0 0 1 and 2 so that's going to be 1 comma 1 comma 0 which is maybe somewhere here so this is vertex number 2 but this is the third vertex 1 comma 1 comma 0 and the rule is the line that's joining ver vertex 1 to 2 that represents your local that direction represents your local y axis so in other words this direction is your y axis <clears throat> and then finally vertex number 3 vertex number 3 which is 0 1 1 which is going to be here that vertex should be reachable if i start from vertex number 0 and head to vertex number 3 along the local y axis which is what's happening right so i have 0 1 2 and 3 okay and then the other vertex are just in front of the old vertex so for example vertex 4 is in front of vertex 0 so the coordinate is 0 comma 0 comma uh, 0.1 and this axis is going to be your z axis right so you have x axis like this y axis like this so z axis should be perpendicular to that so this is vertex number 4 similarly you have vertex number 5 vertex number 6 and vertex number 7 now that is the order in which the vertices have been created now you can type the vertex in any order but the problem is when you're defining the blocks right so for example here you see that i have the block keyword you can see that each block is made up of zero there's a order the block has been specified in a particular order right and what we went through right the direction 0 to 1 is x axis 1 to 2 is y axis that is the local coordinate system for that particular block now i hope you are starting to see what block mesh actually means say that you have a complex geometry like this then the way open form works is it it works by actually splitting the model into blocks so this would be block number 1 block number 2 and block number 3 so for each and every block there is a local coordinate system and how is the local coordinate system defined well it is defined 
based upon the order of the vertices. 